Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I am Lex, and today's video is going to focus on quick and easy builds that you can put on your island. These are just things, they could be filler spaces or just anything to help you complete your island without spending, you know, hours at a time on a build, which is what I do. Our first build today, I think, is adorable. It's a little birthday area. You can make this as simple or as complex as you like, but it's quick, it's easy, you get some tables, some benches or chairs, and set up some balloons and you're ready to go. And look at how cute it is. It takes up a good bit of space too, considering how few items you actually need to complete it. And it looks great in this area. This is a national forest kind of island. I can't, what are they called? National park. There we go. And it just looks stunning. I think this is such a cute little concept for this island, especially like a family going to the national park for their little birthday celebration. This is cute. And the details really come together nicely. It looks great. Also tons of greenery, which you know I love. Also side note, but I did wear the pineapple hat because that's apparently a popular demand now. Apparently this is who I am. So you're welcome. We've got a little nighttime island here. You love to see it. And this build I think is adorable this is a little sushi restaurant. Again, this can be as complex or as simple as you like, but I think the idea of using the actual caught fish in order to make the tables or the counter is so cool. And it's also really quick. You can make all of these chairs, these little stools. You can uh, catch the fish and then you can make the build. You don't have to wait forever for nook shopping items to come in. Although you could also cook some dishes, which, you know, might take some time to acquire ingredients. I think it's so cute though, and it's got this accompanying little area to eat on the beach. I love the matching decking. The fish dishes all look delicious. I'm just hungry right now, as usual, but this is stunning, and I think it's a really cute and fast idea. Again, another build that takes up quite a bit of space here. If you're not sure what to do with the edge of your beaches, this is a perfect idea, and we've even got a little chef behind the counter. All right, this next idea is a covered bridge, which I think is such a cool idea. So the only items used here are the storefront, the party lights, and some pergolas. Of course, the terraforming around it would take you a good bit of time if you wanted to emulate these kind of waterfalls and all. But the bridge itself is a quick and easy build. The design is simple and it's so cool to walk through. Like, are you kidding? That is an experience in itself. I love having parts of the island that are just fun to walk through, just an enjoyable experience when you're playing casually, and this is one of them. But I'm just running in there. Oh my gosh, the pergolas are so pretty. It's just a brilliant build and so pretty with this color theme, the pink and white. It's just lovely. I know the builds so far have been pretty varying sizes, and I think this one is the smallest build we've seen so far. I think it's adorable. This is a little storage shed. It's literally just two of the retro transportation stops and a bench, and you can add whatever little details you want. This creator has added some wheat fields to make it more lush. I think the kettlebell is a good choice here. It's like a little fitness um, storage shed, which makes sense because this island as a whole is like sports themed. This is really cute though. And again, very easy to put together. I also love it from this angle. I kind of fit in here. Wait, I kind of look like I'm part of the build. My dress is the same color as the stop. I have a pineapple hat that matches the trees. Put me in coach. Just by chance, I've done another beach idea next. And this one is also stunning. We filled up the beach here with custom designs, flowers, and items, and it looks amazing. It's just this little spa area on the beach. No terraforming required because, as I said, it is a beach build, and it fills in so nicely just to give this area some pretty little lush details. I think it's really cool and, again, not super time consuming. I also love that this island too has a sort of pink and white theme. We've definitely got some uh, some patterns, some themes happening today, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I must say this island in general is just stunning, but I'm here to feature this little restaurant area. How cute is it? We've got the stonework kitchen, I think it's called, some simple panels, some counters, project tables, I think maybe. And this is so stunning. Restaurants are another popular, popular fill area today. This, oh my God, it's just stunning. I'm like speechless 
Walking through this island was like walking through a dream. Actually, it was literally walking through a dream because this is a dream address, but shut up. This is so cute and I love the lucky cat kind of watching over everything. It just, it looks stunning. It fills this area really nicely and I don't know, it really complements the island theme. It's just been a gorgeous walkthrough. I also love this little kitchen space right here. Like this is super cute. It's like street food kind of, but it's stunning, I love. I must say this island is an absolute joy because I so rarely get rain dream addresses. Just rainy islands, I feel like I never see. But this is another stunning little filler space. We've got just a little campsite here to the left of Nook's Cranny with a waterfall view, a bridge over there, and most of this area is just trees and some flowers. Very few items needed, a very quick build, but it fills up a ton of space here between Nook's Cranny and the bridge. And it's just, it's so well done. And again, I love the fact that it's rainy. That really just sets the mood. I don't know. And we've got this like physics defying fire over here that's still going in spite of the rain. It's so brave. Not God's bravest soldier, cause that's me, but very brave. This is just stunning. I love the barbed wire fences as well. I think they look so good on islands like this and the dirt path. Here's Nook's Cranny, as I was saying. I feel like I keep mentioning it, but you couldn't even see it. So just over to the left, we've got this little filler space, a pond and the campsite. I think it's adorable. Okay, everyone shut up because the gyroids have something to say or sing rather, play? I don't know. I don't know what you'd say. Also, the island representative is hanging out with us now. But look at this. This is just a tiny little filler spot. Super simple to set up. You just need a little chair, some cushions, and some gyroids. Well, and this little portable music thing, um, obviously, because look at them. They're playing along with the music. Oh my gosh, this is freaking cute. It's so adorable. I also love the peach trees around. They add such a nice little touch of color while still feeling cohesive with the like green and brown theme we have going on this is just so adorable bro look at them they're so happy and it's a way to use your gyroids i feel like i collected a million gyroids when the 2.0 update came out and then i just never used them here's how you use them up next is a build that i have never seen before that i remember and it's a little mechanic shop Look at the little tin robot. He's the worker actually. But we've got all of these like technical items that I've never had to use in Animal Crossing. It's also nestled between Nook's Cranny and the museum. So a pretty small space here, but it takes it up perfectly. I love the fencing thrown in the storefronts with the kitchenette in front. Everything just looks so professional and they even have this old busted up car they're working on. Very, very thorough work. We've also got a generator and an ice cream thing here, and I'm sure the ice cream thing is like meant to stand in for something else, but it's my head cannon that the mechanic is just really nice and wants customers to have access to free ice cream while their cars are being worked on. That's what they're doing, actually. It's also a little cluttered, which I feel like is nice for a little homegrown mechanic, you know? It just feels so realistic. This feels like such a nice real town. So 12 out of 10 and super cute. This island is such a beautiful and fun tropical city and their build is a car wash. Are you joking? Look at the Cosmo shower used here. And they even put the ABD as like the little machine where you buy your specific car wash. And then there's Cosmo showers inside and then a fan at the end. And your car comes out all shiny and clean. Look at this beautiful little pink Sakura car. Are you jo Even the bubbles in there, they're waxing. This is so fun. It's also funny that the two last builds were both car related. We have a mechanic shop. And then when you finish at the mechanic shop, you come over and get your car washed. That's so funny. I love a good car wash. I love the colors and everything looks so bright and happy on this island. 12 out of 10. I think this is a brilliant place to end. As always, I hope you're feeling super inspired and ready to tackle the rest of your island with these quick little filler areas for you to build. I think these were wonderful ideas. I think we got a good variety. I hope you loved them. Until next time, Pookie Bears. Bye!